Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss about the SDS page. The full form of SDS page is sodium dodecyl sulfate which is an anionic detergent and polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. So the polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis is basically used to separate proteins according to their size in which polyacrylamide gel act as a matrix on which the protein migrates and electrophoresis is used to separate proteins according to their migration in the polyacrylamide gel by applying a electric field okay now the movement of protein on the polyacrylamide gel depends on four factors that is one is the molecular weight of the protein the second is the molecular radius of the protein and third is the net charge of the protein and the fourth is the applied current applied applied current so in SDS page we basically separate proteins only according to their molecular weight so and uh, throughout the process we um, use a particular amount of current so in this process we have to nullify these two factors okay nullify these two factors and this is done by SDS okay suppose suppose this is a negative structure of protein negative structure of protein and we use SDS remember SDS is a reducing agent which disrupt the tertiary structure of protein but it cannot remove the disulfide bonds so to fully disrupt the tertiary structure of protein we also have to add beta mercaptoethanol okay which is which can disrupt the disulfide bond so now the protein so now protein is linearized and so the molecular radius of all proteins are the same so this factor is nullified and the second is this the SDS has another function that is SDS can coat the protein the whole protein as a negatively charged because SDS is negatively charged okay, like this okay now the net charge of protein is negative okay so all the protein are present in the agarose uh, in the polyacrylamide gel is in its negative charge okay so these two factors are nullified and this is the whole function of sds okay now what is the polyacrylamide gel and what is the stacking gel and resolving gel Here we use two types of gel, two types of polyacrylamide gel that is the stacking gel and resolving gel like suppose this is a polyacrylamide gel now remember that the the SDS page is used in vertically run in vertically okay now this is the polyacrylamide gel and this is the tank okay electrophoresis tank now the one foot portion the upper one foot portion is the stacking gel and this is the resolving gel okay and here 
here the running buffer is present the running buffer as a running buffer we use trees is trees glycine and its pH is 8.3 okay now what is the difference between stacking gel and the dissolving gel the difference is in stacking gel the concentration of acrylamide is low low concentration of acrylamide low concentration of acrylamide and its pH is 6.8 and in resolving gel the concentration of acrylamide is high comparative to stacking gel high concentration acrylamide okay and the, its pH is 8.8 okay and the buffer used to make the polyacrylamide gel is freeze acl freeze acl okay now what is a discontinuous buffer system the discontinuous buffer system means the buffer used to make the polyacrylamide gel is different from the running buffer that's why it is called the discontinuous buffer system okay so now what is the importance of using two different kinds of gel and why we use discontinuous buffer system and what is the role of glycine and chlorine so at first if we don't use the stacking gel and use only the resolving gel this time when we add protein into the wells of polyacrylamide gel the protein will present as a discrete manner that means the distance between them is high like this that means the distance between the proteins is high so when they enter directly enter directly into the resolving gel they will give a smeared band okay so to solve this problem we use a running buffer and the stacking gel how i will explain it now when we use a stacking gel this time this time the glycine from the running buffer and chlorine chlorine from the tris acl <clears throat> make a sandwich in between protein is present like this i will elaborate this wells okay here this is the this is the glycine and this is the protein this is the protein and this is the chlorine okay. the upper uh, the glycine is present in the upper part and chlorine protein is get sandwiched between them and chlorine is present in the lower part so when they so this sandwich structure compress the protein to a to a uh, very compact structure so that so that the distance between proteins is low so when they so this sandwich structure is retained throughout the s phase so throughout the sorry throughout the stacking gel and when they enter into the resolving gel the glycine and chlorine will migrate faster and and protein give a potent band protein will give a potent band because all the because all the pro because all the protein enter into the resolving gel at the same time that's why they give a potent band okay now at first we have to discuss about the glycine glycine is present in three state at different ph at low ph that is a 2 to 3 this time glycine is present in its protoidal form that is the net charge is positive and when and in high ph this time glycine is present in its deprotoidal form that is the net charge is negative it is around 
8 to 9 pH. Okay, and when uh, the glycine is present in in between these two pH, that is uh, 6 to 7, this time glycine is present in its zwitterionic form. That means the glycine has net charge is zero. Okay, so when glycine is present in the running buffer, this time its pH is 8.3. So glycine is present in this pH at its deprotonated form, that is the negative charge. So when we uh, apply current from the negative end to the positive end, this time the glycine is forced to enter into the polyacrylamate gel, that is a uh, stacking gel. Okay. So when uh, glycine enter into the stacking gel, this time it face the 6.8 pH, that is in this pH glycine is present in its zwitterionic form. So uh, its net charge is zero. So it migrate in the S phase very slowly because it net charge is zero. Okay. So it form a when it form a sandwich structure, it present in the upper part. Okay. And when glycine enter into the resolving gel, this time glycine face the 8.8 .8 pH. So glycine enter glycine again convert to its deprotonated form that is the negatively charged and at this negatively charged it migrate to towards the positive charge very highly okay so glycine and chlorine will migrate very fast and protein will give the band a potent band in the dissolving gel okay this is the importance of using two different ki kind of um, polyacrylamide gel that is the stacking gel and dissolving gel okay so now I will discuss about the polymerization of acrylamide and role of APS and TMATE in the polymerization of acrylamide. Okay, the polyacrylamide is generated by the cross-linking between the acrylamide and bisacrylamide. Here, APS, the ammonium part sulfate, generate a free radical which is accepted by this O2 and they create a bond rearrangement and then give to this and they create a bond between them and then this bond is converted to another bond formation between acrylamide okay now in this way in this way the polyacrylamide gel is formed here in the absence of timate the APS produces a very few amount of free radicals and that's why the polymerization take longer time so in the absence of timate it act as a catalyst and produce and uh, help to produce more amount of free radicals which will increase the rate of polymerization okay now now uh, in the absence in the presence of o2 aps in the presence of o2 the polymerization cannot be done because the because o2 accept the free radicals generated by aps okay and that's why we cannot uh, cannot do the SDS whole SDS page in the presence of air okay and it is the other reason why we use SDS page vertically okay now at the end of this process the staining dye and destaining dye is used the staining dye is used to stain the proteins appear in the agar uh, in the polyacrylamide gel after electrophoresis okay and this staining dye contain Methanol, second is Coma C blue, third is Glacial Acetic Acid, and fourth is water. Okay, Methanol is used as the solvent, and Coma C blue used as the dye which stain the protein in the polyacrylamide gel and glacial acetic acid act as a fixer it fix the protein to the polyacrylamide gel okay and when the staining is done then this staining is done by the this staining is done to remove the excess stain from the polyacrylamide gel this staining dye contain all these compounds except chromacy blue okay and then after 
and in the distending dye we can observe the polyacrylamide gel okay and this is the whole process of sds page okay thank you for watching this video